What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Powered by Primus. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my first product review for this game and it is something that I'm really, really excited about. A little bit long overdue, but we finally do have something. So I'm going to be breaking down all of the things that this thing is capable and talking about as far as prices, ship dates, all of that good jazz. But before we get into this, I do want to tell you guys that we are doing an Energon Edition giveaway. I'm going to be putting in the description box below um, the video link to the, uh, I guess, the launch video for the Energon Edition as well well as all the rules for it as well. At some point in this video, I'm going to be randomly talking about something for you guys to go down to the comment section below and comment, and that is how you guys are going to be able to get in one of your um, entries for the giveaway. Now, with all that being said, this is from BCW. This is the Prime X4 gaming box and was designed for the Transformers TCG. Now, you can also use this for your Mag uh, Magic the Gathering Commander because you can also fit your commander size cards in here, but you can honestly use this for quite a bit of different things. Now, the first thing we're going to be talking about is going to be the price of this thing. Now, this thing is coming in at $12.99, and I absolutely love the price. I think it's really doable. I think it's really awesome, and then you can actually get a discount if you do purchase these in multiples so if you do I believe buy five you get them for ten dollars each and then if you buy more than that then obviously it's gonna keep going down from there so it's really really awesome stuff this thing is really light I mean really really light so it's easy to carry around this is something that I'm definitely gonna be using to store a lot of my cards and bring with me when I don't have my backpack for all my camera equipment and all the good jazz I think this thing is really cool now the first thing we're gonna talk about here is the exterior of the box like again, I said I talked about it. it's really light and you can see that there are these locking features here in the bottom of it and it does have this groove top which means these things are going to be really nice and easy to stack which is going to be really awesome. I will tell you that you can comfortably fit two decks in here, dice, and then if you want to have two of these things then you can fit four decks. Obviously, it'll double the more that you have. The other thing you can do is here is you can put four uh, decks in here and have your character cards separate and then you can also just use this for basic storage for cards as well. Really, really awesome stuff. Nothing in here moves around and flips around even when you shake the freaking crap out of it. Really, really awesome stuff. So you don't have to worry about your character cards in here bashing back and forth if it's in your car, in a backpack, any of those really good things. So next thing about it is you can just even listen to this. Listen to that. Ah. It's got a really nice clip, which means that this clip is going to be able to survive for a really long time. Really good for a lot of different uses. Most of the time you get these really bad clips. They kind of just break off and then your top is kind of flopping all over. You got to put rubber bands around it or tape. Really bad. But this has a really nice lock to it. And this thing is actually really surprisingly spacious when it comes to the inside of the piece. It does have these maneuverable things, which we're going to talk about here in just a second. But let's talk about the back section here first. Now, there's quite a bit of things that you can put here in this back section. The thing that I'm going to be using it for is going to be my Chessex dice. It's really easy to be able to put these blocks of dice in here. And you can actually hold, I mean, an insane amount of dice in this section to really put back there. Another thing you could do is put in loose dice. If you want to put in loose dice, you can do that back there. You can put your damage um, tokens back there. You can do quite a bit of stuff, but usually going to be used for kind of your extras and a lot of the other random stuff that you are going to be having in the back of the box. Other than that, I really don't know how many things that you can really use this for other than just extra storage, really. It's going to be a nice spot for a lot of those different things. If you use coins for some of your games, you can put coins back there, all of that good jazz. And then in the center section here, we have a removable thing. Really, really nice, solid plastic. Really awesome. As you guys can see, it doesn't move around in the section no matter how much I move it. That's even without the lid in the way. This you can use for all of your loose dice and your damage tokens as well. I mean, you can stack probably like quite a bit of dice in here. And this is random. Let's, uh, let's filter through some of these. Make them a little bit prettier. Oh, look at that, man. These things fit like in here really nice. As I say that, I struggle. Look at that. We can fit a lot of dice in here. I mean, we're talking like a lot of dice. So you can fit a really a lot of dice in there. Really cool. Again, you can use your damage tokens if you're in for that. Um, all of that good jazz. Now coming into these side sections here, um, the bottom has this really light layer of foam. Hope you guys can see that. It is really, really, it's all like black on black. So really light layer of foam, which is really nice. So that means it actually keeps the cards lifted off of the bottom and has a little bit of protective section in there. So when you do have your cards in there, if you have them not sleeve sleeve, it's going to really help stop them from really sliding around a whole bunch. And it's going to make it easy for when you go to grab your stuff to not have to like bend the tips of your sleeves and all that other good jazz. It's really nice to be able to put all that in there. 
Now, if we're going to be just stacking regular cards in there and say maybe this is going to be one of your storage solutions for at your house, whatever else, you guys can fit quite a bit in there. I mean, that's a pretty big stack of cards that you can just put in there for one of these sections. And then obviously, if you have four of those, you can go wave one through wave four currently. You can just do one of these for each wave, depending on how many extras and stuff you have. Makes it really, really nice to be able to grab those kind of things and move all of that. Now the next thing is let's talk about different sleeves. We have a basic set of sleeves in here. This is going to be a 60 card deck and this is going to fit actually really nice in there. Now you guys can see that, at, I'm sorry, a 40 card deck, don't listen to me, no one's running 60. Uh, a 40 card deck in here, you guys can see if you push that down you could probably even get like another probably 15 or 20. So it'd be really easy to be able to also put in your sideboard when it comes to that within the regular, these are single sleeved. Um, cards and then this is going to be dragon shield double sleeves you guys can obviously see gonna be a pretty big difference in the decks here this does not have a sideboard as well but even with the dragon shields you still have about the same number of space that's gonna go in there they fit really nice the one thing about the dragon shields is they fit a little bit better I mean like I'm moving those quite a bit around and it's barely moving this stuff which is really nice and then again that little lip on the bottom really cool to be able to grab and be able to put this in there so you can easily fit obviously four decks when it comes to putting them into here and then carry your card your, your you know, character cards separate. Again, you can even pick up two of these and then you can have two sets of character cards in one and have four decks in one. You can separate them out. Really, really cool stuff. Now, talking about these sections here. Now, these are removable which means this is going to be where you're going to be able to fit your character cards. And again, that little lip is going to come in handy on both sides when it comes to those character cards. And the only thing that is really nice that they definitely thought of was a way to be able to place these and have them stowed away. Look at that. You get to have it there. It is completely out. It is locked in. And now you can put your character cards. You have to worry about losing that little piece by just like having it out. Sorry, because it doesn't fit. One thing you can also do is stick them in the back of that as well. You can use for storage. And then not only can you do one, but you can actually do both of these bad boys and that lid can still close. And then those aren't going away. And then now you have space for two sets of character cards if you want to do go that route. Now, talking about character cards, because that's obviously what we all care about. Because one thing that is really hard to find for this game is carrying cases for things that do fit our character cards because they are not small. Now, when it comes to talking about them, there is actually going to be something that you are going to have to take into account. I'm going to be showing it off here. Now, currently, there are two famous, two more well-known, two well-more purchased um, top loaders that you do get for your character cards. One is going to be Ultra Pro, and one is going to be from BCW. Now, you will have some of these discrepancies because there is actually a size difference between the pieces as far as, I think the Ultra Pro ones are about two millimeters, a little bit longer, and then I think there's a little bit more on top. So, obviously this is a BCW box. You are gonna have to use the BCW sleeves. If you try to put an Ultra Pro sleeve in there, you can use a top loader. You can probably put maybe four characters in here, but there is space underneath, so you guys can see that that the character does flex a little bit there. I'm not a big fan of that. Obviously, we're using top loaders to protect our character cards. And if you use a BCW, boom, look at that. They slide right in there. They fit really, really well. Now, when talking about these uh, top loaders from BCW, you do also have to get the BCW uh, inner sleeves because again, they are a very specific size. So this will still protect your characters all like normal. This is an inner sleeve and a BCW. And like I said, oh, we just get to stack that in there. And just because we're holding all the Constructicons because they're amazing. Look at that. We have all six Constructicons in there and we're barely halfway through the bottom of that. So you can probably hold 12 character cards in this section, which is really nice. You can even throw in some of these little bad boys um, if you do have to have your little characters. And then, yeah, you'll have them kind of bounce around a little bit, but they can even fit in there, which is going to be really awesome. And then again, we can move this. We can have even more character cards and then we can have our character cards and then have our deck and boom, we are good to go. We'll have to throw some dice in. Obviously, we don't take much damage, so we can just use two die and be fine. But this is really, really cool stuff. It is really, really awesome for being able to carry this stuff around, be able to use all of these different storage options for all of our character cards. Now, again, I'm going to put a link down in the description box so you guys can head over there and pick some of these up. They are available for pre-order now, but they do not ship until February 27th. So I mean, if you want to get something for your significant other for Valentine's Day, you guys play Magic, you guys play Transformers, whatever, this product is actually really, really awesome. I'm going to be getting my hands on a few of these just because I actually really like it. It just makes things so much easier as far as being able to put everything together. Now, the one thing you can't do 
shove your deck box in there. You don't really need it in there. It won't really matter. Obviously, this is designed to be kind of your deck box. So don't be trying to fit any of this crazy stuff in there. It's not going to work out very well for you. In addition to that, Titan size cards do not fit. They are really cool, don't get me wrong. Play with all the Titans, we need more Titans. However, you just can't fit them in here. It's one thing that it's really hard to just build a box to specifically also be able to hold them. It would be really cool, however, if this middle section could lift up as well and you could choose to put a Titan size card down. Um, I don't know if they're gonna actually fit wide enough, um, but that's one thing you can do. And then the other thing you can do to really be able to fit all of your character cards in here without worrying about top loaders is just have them in some basic sleeves. Bam. If you don't choose to, um, you know, play with top loaders because you can't get them or they're hard to find or you just don't want them for whatever reason, you can still play with your normal sleeve characters. They fit in there quite nice as well. You can definitely do that. And then again, that lip is still going to be really nice because you're not going to be able to damage any of your character cards. And then believe me, you can stack, I don't know, probably 70, you know, like you'd be able to fit a lot of character cards in there. So again, I really, really like this. I think this is a really, really awesome product. Make sure you guys do go and check them out. Uh, I'm not getting paid by this in any way, shape, or form. I was lucky enough to have BCW send me this as an early exclusive to check it out. So a huge thank you to that team for sending these out to me. I really, really do appreciate it. Hope that we can get more Transformers product in the future as far as some other stuff that we do really really want to get it's just a really really awesome product like i said i'm a huge huge fan you guys did a great job on this and i hope you guys go and pick some up for yourselves now the last thing i'm going to talk about with the product is i'm going to give you guys a screenshot on your screen that's going to be for these bcw uh size character cards i know one question that i do get quite a bit is like what size are my sleeves what am i using what size are these um you know top loaders and stuff so i'm going to be giving you guys a screenshot that is going to be showing off the top loader dimensions um, from BCW. And I would just recommend that when you guys are picking this up from them, that you also order yourself a set of these sleeves. I think they come with like 20 in a pack, something like that. So, you know, maybe pick up a couple of them if you do uh, have a bunch. I have every single character, at least one of, that is in a top loader. So no matter what, when I want to play with a character, I can just go and grab the top loader and it's ready to go versus trying to like move characters, re-sleeve them and stuff like that. However, if you have, you know, a smaller collection, you only play with, you know, let's say a few couple of decks, then one pack will probably be enough for you but again i will put that um probably right now now i would again go down to the description box below i'm going to have access to the website so you guys can go check out this product it'll take you directly to them and all this stuff big 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 thank you again to bcw for sending to me this i really really appreciate it oh are, are, are you guys waiting for the the moment to go down to the comment section all right i applaud you for waiting till the very end of the video now what we're actually going to be doing is how many people plan on going down and picking one of these things up. I actually really, really am curious on how many people plan on picking them up. And if you don't plan on picking them up or do, I guess either way, it won't really matter to me. Let me know how you store your cards. Is there something that you specifically use when it comes to storing all of your cards at home or how you travel with all of your cards? I'd be really interested in seeing how you guys do it. And if you guys plan on picking up this product, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously a like would be greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can get access to all of our fantastic videos as soon as they become available, and I will catch you guys in the next one.